Uh, I'm going to explain what any DSLI is. is an ensemble of the centralized system operation architecture. Uh, we have a calculator. Okay. Okay. So when you are typing two plus two. In order to have um, uh, this architecture, all of your data is going to be sent via sockets. Let's say we have this calculator inside our computers, but via sockets we're going to translate it to a server. Okay, so we have this server in the internet, and via sockets via internet is going to receive all of this information. This um, server has to have the addition cells, the subtraction cells, and also the multiplication and as well as the division, okay? So we operate the 2 plus 2 uh, and this calculator sends information via socket to this, um, to, to this um, part of the system and uh, we must uh, um, make uh, emphasis in the fact that this is an entire system, all of this, but we have uh, some part of the system inside the server and another part of the system inside your computer because it's decentralized, but actually it's the same. Okay, and then uh, that the multiplication, uh, addition, and, and subtraction, uh, well, also division right here, must receive this this operation and, and this receive two plus two. This one also received 2 plus 2. This one also received 2 plus 2. And this other cell received the 2 plus 2. But who is the only one that is going to respond to that operation? This one. Because this is just for division, this is just for uh, subtraction, and this is just for multiplication. What is going to do? This is going to drop it. This one is going to drop it also, and this one. And the only one that is going to operate is this one. So we got 2 plus 2 is 4. And then once this is operating, it will send again via circuit. The information inside the internet can be lost and also the information that is sent by the circuit could, could be corrupted uh, as well as the information that has, in, has sent uh, this, this addition uh, cell. So we must have uh, another uh, part of this system which operates also autonomous and that has to check that the information uh, from here to here and from here to here is not corrupted. So we must have in the middle a checksum. Okay, we have uh, as, as we have a checksum for the IP version four. We can also have a checksum for for, for this transaction. So uh, what it, this checksum is going to check is that the information inside the calculator is. Is, is going to be the same that, that has already sent to here, from here, from here to here also. We can also have, why not, we can also have a multiplication right here, another one. And, and we can also have another one, okay? They are flying around, okay? And, and we can have as much as you want of the other cells. But what happens here, okay? We have four multiplication cells, just one division cell, and two uh, subtraction cells and uh, addition cell only one. Okay, this is a problem because what what if what if this is going down? Okay, we, we lost the, the addition the, the addition uh, cell. 
Um, what, what is going to happen to this? This operation wouldn't be done because all of these cells are going to drop it. So that's why this is so, so, so good because we create an autonomous cell which knows nothing. The ADSO architecture, what it's going to give you is the chance to create cells autonomous which knows nothing about anything but in fact you can make this cell learn what the other cells know because we have over here java jars so, so we have four java jars right here which know the way to operate all of these so this, this cell is going to pick up the knowledge of the addition java jar and it's going to, to, to know what what's happening inside okay and, and we we will have another another addition so but this is not all that that must do uh, an ADSO architecture okay this ADSO is going to see okay we have an addition right here as a stretch uh, 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 addition right here okay so because we have only one I'm going to create another one and another one in order to preserve the system integrity. Okay? And also we're going to create another one right here and an other one right here. So that's why we have another um, species of sex uh, checksum, but it's uh, an another another program. We must have another autonomous program which is going to, to check for the consistency of the entire system. And also we can we, we can watch this. We have one, two, three, and four cells of uh, of multiplication. We must know that there are much more than we want. So this consistency is going to check that we have a multiplication right here. So we are going to kill it. Okay? Okay, in order to have a more robust uh, architecture, we also uh, must not just leave it as a only one consistency program that is going to check the entire system. Because maybe this program also can go down uh, as well as, as these cells have already gone down. Okay? So we cannot just leave that, uh, that, um, that, um, that, that task to only one. We must uh, divide it as well. So these cells are going to be checking their cells alone in order that this cell can communicate to this one and this one to this one. So uh, imagine that we lost this one. We, we not just have to wait for this consistency program to, to to, to reach the, the, the these cells and check if they are going well. So these 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 two cells are also going to check that these cells has going down, and they are going to create another one. Okay.